The thing that helps me the most to concentrate is waking up very early. So being very structured. And if I wake up, you know, five-ish, even before that, I can work five hours straight. When I think about my childhood, I remember uh, growing up in the outskirts of Madrid in a, in a place that was built by an American developer. So it looked very much like an American, American suburbia. So small houses, green patches. Uh, so I grew up like, you know, if I was growing up, I don't know, in the outskirts of Denver. The best thing about being here in Madrid is for sure the food. The food is very good and the weather is not bad. I'd love to have a coffee with uh, Donald Trump. I think it'd be very interesting. Cocktail, um, Elon Musk. Uh, my greatest achievement for sure is marrying my wife. And I, I had to say that. The biggest challenge was, can I say marrying my wife? No, sorry. Uh, I, I would say uh, my doctorate, my PhD. That was, it was tough. My first job was as an intern in a law firm, in my family's law firm. My dad was a lawyer, my granddad was a lawyer, and I worked there as an intern when I was studying. Um, I value the most from my day-to-day -day work the vision and the ability to be working on something that is medium to long term. So day to day connected to a strategy. That's what I value the most. I don't, I don't have a favorite moment at work. I just I in, tend to enjoy it throughout. So there are peaks, but I just I, I like it quite a bit just throughout. Out of all of IE's uh, values, I think the one that I, ident I identify with the most is uh, entrepreneurship and technology. So those two, I, they compete with one another. So I would say those two. The last country I visited was the, the US. I was just in the US. I came back last week in Boston and in DC. I would love to visit uh, Kenya and I'm headed there this summer. I always travel with books, novels and essays about the place where I'm going. I, that's a very tough question. You know, which book should be read by all humanity? I would say I, I'm going to say two. I'll say um, Pale Blue Dot by uh, Carl Sagan. It's an amazing book. And the other would be The Road to Serfdom by Hayek. My favorite sport is hiking. I love hiking, going out to the mountains and hiking. My biggest indulgence has to be food, I think. The best invention, one of the best must for sure be the pillow. So I would say the pillow. <laughs> My favorite restaurant was El Bulli. Uh, by Ferran Adria, which was very close to Barcelona, and it's now closed, but it was amazing. Uh, one of the people that I admire the most is uh, Joe Nye. He's an academic at Harvard and was the dean of the School of Government there, and he was a teacher of mine, and then a mentor, and I think a friend. The most overrated virtue, I think, in our time is uh, sexiness. I think this idea, <laughs> this combination of being good looking and sexy has completely exploded in our time. So I think that is just overrated. I would have liked to have lived in the era of Caesar Augustus. I had a, a professor of Roman law that said that Augustus was the man that was most aware that he was changing the history of mankind. I think it was just a fascinating period in human history. I would have loved to have lived there. The superpower that I'd like to have would be to be able to live forever but by choice. So if I, if I wanted to stop living forever, I could do that as well. So eternity by choice. I was very happy when I was doing my master's uh, in the US. So I lived in Boston for two years and it was wonderful. It was two years off, surrounded by friends and studying. So those two years were very, very happy. So whenever I have a bad day, I just think that tomorrow will be a new day and I'll be able to fix things. So that's the way I get over very bad days. I'm not sure if there's such a thing as perfect happiness. Um, you just uh, you connect uh, episodes throughout your life, so I wouldn't be able to describe how perfect happiness looks like.